How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here back from the Game On Expo 2019 in Phoenix, Arizona. I had a great time. I'm going to show you what I picked up right after I show you what I saw on the show floor. And there was some great stuff there that um, bigger, bigger and better than even last year. I had a great time last year, even better time this year. Let's go. And on the way there, I sat next to Kinsey, which was so cool. We both brought our Nintendo Switches, and neither of us even turned them on. We just spent the entire time chatting about nothing in particular. It was great. Skip on Expo 2019, Phoenix, Arizona. Sonic and Mario. Uh, we're going to go inside, see what we can find. Mario is pointing out that there is something in that block. Nothing. Saw these guys last year, and this year they have the Ghostbusters cabinet. Look at that. It's all custom made. Made this all himself. He's playing Ghostbusters 2 in there. That siren goes off every once in a while. And then this was here last year too. Very cool. Do a little. Doing it. Going for it. Going for it. Building some score. If you've never played Pachinko in your life, you can play Pachinko here at Game On Expo. Okay. So Do some Pachinko. Look at this. It's called Cosmotrons. Like most game expos, there's a free play arcade with all classic consoles. If you've never played a Commodore, if you've never played a Nintendo, I mean, I hope you've played a Nintendo by now. Spicy boy, head you know, Atari 5200, boy. something like that. Yeah, really cool. It's all there for you. It's a big time tournament going on on the stage. That's super cool. Cool to see a Vectrex on the floor. I love the Vectrex. And also over here, Action Max. You get you play the VHS tapes of all things. I love the backdrop of these. You see these on games like Shinmu? You can actually get them here. A little mini arcade here. This is kind of cool. A stacker game. Prizes. Might win yourself a Nintendo Switch. Two people won. Two people won. Three of them left. Look at this guy. Look at. I love it. Yeah. I like his stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how fun! His unboxing is good. For I, I like I like unboxing. I that's all. Awesome. Oh, perfect. Very cool. Windows to the soul. These are stained glass. Oh, come on now. So great. I'm loving this. Custom arcade. Custom arcade for Sydney Hunter. Also by Rewind by Design, just like the guys who did in the Ghostbusters game. Uh, this is going to be a hot game. Um, I played a little bit of this for the Switch. Also available for various other things. I love the monitors. Look out for it, I'm telling you. I love this game. I love the soundtrack. And I love these guys. We're totally not even paying attention to me. I love these guys. <laughs> no, you're, you're good. You're good. Do your thing. Do your thing. I'm just showing some stuff off. No, don't. No, come on now. When in doubt, limited run games. If you miss out on a pre-order, they may have it. And they also have some sold out stuff in these mystery boxes. So you never know what you're going to get. These are cool. Um, reminds me of like the old days when you'd actually get video game magazines. An old school gamer satisfies that need. So if you see them at a game convention, grab a free magazine from them. Oh, hey, I know this dude. I know, oh, there's Shannon. From the, uh, from the, uh, place in Rochester, the Strong Museum. Oh, see, I'm digging this already. Oh, I love it. Love it. Anyway, yeah, cool. Yeah, if you didn't know, check it out. Love these two. These are just, like, giant placards, and they're, like, foam, so they're super light. Um, but, like, all your favorite video game boxes, you can just showcase them in your room. Or bathroom or wherever. Showcasing some VR. I love it. Beat Saber can't go wrong. You've never tried VR. Yeah, I'm telling you, you gotta at least try it. And Alex VR bringing it to you. Always like these guys. 
If I had to choose one, I like the 11 one. That's kind of cool too. <laughs> they make custom protectors, even custom protectors for your cereal boxes. Well, that specific cereal. Like, I love this booth. There's like all your snacks you need Pocky, Hello Panda, Ramen, and more. Nice. Some cute backpacks. I like that Wolverine one. Always great stuff by Jeffrey Wittenhagen. Cool. Socks the cat. What? Even the little books, the pocket edition. When in doubt. There you go. This one's a great one too. Love it. I, mean, I gotta appreciate anything cereal related. I love that. So they have ice cream here. And here's my here's my trick I can do. I hope you don't have sensitive teeth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Curious? Nope, sealed shut. This is awesome. She did a piece of artwork for my book there too. You have a picture of Oh, I love it. Science fiction, a little darker. I like darker. About a girl who can alter other people's memories, so the government wants to use her as a friend. Oh my. <laughs> it's good. I can dig it. Like about the interactor. It's like a chest plate. You, just, you wear it, and then like the sound vibration. So you feel the explosions and the yeah, cracks remember, and the rumbles. I remember reading the, like the old <laughs> magazine about that. Yeah. And I was <laughs> Look at that. Just what you need. Kind of cool stuff here too. Ah, dude, I love it. I love it. Hello? The intensity on these guys. And just the overall experience, you had to be there. Um, big shout out to John Lester, Gamester81. He's the one who organizes this whole ordeal. He's the one who invited me personally to come out there. So, I mean, you know, don't thank me for coming out there. You thank John Lester, because it was all it was all his idea. Uh, Metal Jesus, Kinsey, Kelsey, Cody attended too, which was I thought was great. Uh, Reggie was there, uh, John Hancock, and um, and a big thank you to you too. And other guests too, we had Jay, 8-Bit Eric, had Boogie. Oh man, I love Boogie. Boogie was so fun to watch. Like fans go up to him and like interact with him, and he, Boogie would just drop to Francis and start chatting him in Francis's voice. <laughs> it was so funny. And a big thanks to everyone who stopped by the panel. Uh, really, really appreciate it. And again, I, I can't speak highly enough of how awesome this convention is. Even though it's in August in Phoenix, Arizona, 
uh, that's okay. And before I get to my pickups too, if you didn't swing by and grab one of my game hacks, which I just kind of bring, I don't really intend to sell a lot of them. The money I do make with these, I just buy more parts to make more games for the next convention. If you didn't show up there, I'm going to be at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo uh, coming up in October. That's in Portland, Oregon. And I also, I have, I have also been confirmed coming back to Retro Game Con in Syracuse, New York. That's coming up the first weekend of November because again, <laughs> having a convention in August in Phoenix is just like having a convention upstate New York in November. I'm glutton for punishment, apparently. First up here is, well, it doesn't look like much, but this game is broken. Someone actually donated me a game for open cart surgery, so this will be a future video, hopefully in the near future. Always cool to see my buddy Saramaro out there, and he has FX Unit Yuki. I have this for the PC Engine. Uh, but they also made it for the Dreamcast, and I didn't have the Dreamcast version. So again, gifted to me. I was gonna m maybe buy one, but he was like, "Ah, oh, dude, this is this is for you. This is for you to have." So, so thank you, man. I, I can't thank you enough. Such a fun game too. If you haven't checked it out, it's 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 worth it for sure. Now, this photo is courtesy of Cloud on Twitter. I'll link to him in the uh, description below. Um, but he grabbed a photo of me dressed as Doctor Robotnik, and as I was walking around the show floor as Doctor Robotnik. I got one of these. Uh, this one here is from one of my favorite vendors at every convention I ever attend. So awesome, I never remember their names. It's, it's just like, they always have the best booth. I always love running into them, and they're like, oh, hey, this is yours. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that's awesome, thank you. <laughs> this is not the version of Robotnik I was dressed up like, but it's, um, well, I mean, the dimensions might be kind of similar, I don't know. <laughs> Does this make you jealous? Well, this is just a press kit. There's not, there's not actually a, a game in here, um, but I will open up the press kit because this game, uh, coming soon for Switch, available for some other platforms. You know, I have it for the Super Nintendo that's available now and also coming out for the NES in the very near future too. Uh, Sydney Hunter and the Curse of the Mayan. Maybe you saw the arcade unit while you were out there. Um, but what a cool idea to put a press kit as a box. And it's a really high quality box too. And although there is a game in here, they're like, ah, oh, it's not it's not really a game, it's just like the shell. Like there's no there's there's no actual cart in there. It's like you know, I was talking to the guys at uh, Collector Vision Games, you know, they had Jean Francois and uh, Toby there, and I love Jean Francois, I just like saying his name out loud. Uh, I was like, I could take Super Pitfall, maybe hack the graphics, turn it into a Sydney City, City Hunter game. I'm like, kind of funny, but uh, watch out for this in the near future, and watch out for that Switch version too. Uh, super legit. Would you believe me if I told you I picked up a book while I was there? Um, I was walking by, and um, uh, the guy's name was Ross. He was just like, oh, hey, dude, I uh, you know, love your channel. Love, your, love everything you do. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, cool. And then we just started chatting for a little bit and looked down, and you know, someone was, uh, maybe his wife, so they were selling like, uh, prints, like art, which looked really, really cool too, and he had this book here. And um, the more I'm looking at it and reading the back and everything, I was like, actually, yeah, I think I'll buy one. <laughs> so he did that. He even hooked up some, uh, some random uh, freebies in here, too. In fact, just for the sake of this video, I think I'll read the entire book for you so you don't have to pick it up. It goes like this. Uh, this book is called Dreaming in the Shadows. As her feet beat the concrete ground beneath her chair. No, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am looking forward to checking this out, so um, and I, I'm a paying customer, I did pay for this. Look at this guy right here, oh my god, I've been looking for one of these for a while now. This actually came to me from Radical Reggie. Reggie was there, uh, out doing some game hunting with her buddy X, and found this at a thrift shop, of all places. Like, dude, I got, I got you back, I got you hooked up, so he found this for me. It's a plug-and-play based on Steel Cage Challenge. They made it for the NES, but this one has a few different wrestlers on there, too, so... This is super cool, man. Reggie, thanks for looking out, man. I appreciate you. Portland Retro Gaming Expo in October, Retro Game Con in November. Links to both of those are in the description below. I thank you for watching, and I will see you at a convention in the very near future. Thank you. You, my friend, are a perfect 10.